I want to start off by saying Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yaharashai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yaharashai, Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, by Shem Makakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that told me this doctrine of truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means He is or He exists. By Shem, in the name of His only begotten Son, in the world angrily calls Jesus Christ. We know His name to be Yahweh Shai, which means He is the deliverer, He is the Savior for the Hebrew Israelites, so the pedigree of your Father. By Shem, in the name of the Rakat Kwadash, which means the Holy Spirit that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. The so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or other speckled bird, looking like the other nations, and your spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Shem and Shai. You could be with elect. Shalom. We would discontinue from our heritage because we went on following that they're false gods and false go false idols. Now following the law, such a commandments that was given to us by our forefathers, and because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, He's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father Yahweh to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the disciples, the apostles, the prophets, and the men on down, to be able to wake up the tabernacle of David before it is said destruction. And with that knowledge, wisdom, understanding, we're able to know who our oppressor is, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man of today. Esau means wasted away he is, and they are the biblical Edomites that it speaks about in the scriptures, that in the latter days would have the fatness of the earth, control of the monetary system, and would be able to deceive the nations through their enchantments and through their sorcery, and they would rule with the great sword. But the Lord would send forth his holy prophets that would be able to have the mysteries, the understanding, and they would be able to have this word to be able to um, destroy Esau Edom's kingdom, which the word is our Lord Yahweh Shai, and which is the comforter, um, the spirit that's able to move us to be able to have breath, to be able to believe, to be able to stand in great boldness against our oppressor. Meanwhile, on the left hand side, Esau Edom is uh, waging war on uh, free speech, waging war on uh, the Bible, okay, the son of perdition, and he's being revealed for. Uh, who he is, which, which again is the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Warburgs, the Schiffs, okay, which the biblical nationality is the Edomites, the Idumians that would be set up for a great judgment, okay, the only ones, the only ones of the nations that would not see, receive mercy because they have shown no mercy, okay, and what they're trying to do now is trying to, uh, you know, clean up things, I guess, on the internet, okay, for better words, you know, um, try to clean up things as far as bringing forth uh, censorship, bringing forth unrighteous decrees on uh, Internet use, you know, on these different platforms to try to control the narrative. OK, but but this word, um, but you can't do nothing against the truth before the truth, because actually what you what Esau Edom is doing, he is showing who he is. OK, that he would be pushing forth perdition on the earth. So it says elite crackdown on free speech worldwide intensifies. Why is it intensifying? Because Esau Edom is being made um, bare. Okay, he's being exposed for the things he's done in slavery. He's been exposed for the things he did a couple years ago with the jump shots. He's being exposed that that they are the synagogue of Satan, those small hats, the fake J's, that they're not the real people in the land. Okay, and now they're trying to uh, bring forth the same, same type of... Uh, um, unrighteous decrees on the people as far as, um, you know, these different lockdowns, you know, taking away certain resources, taking away certain uh, dainties and telling you that, hey, we'll give you this, but you have to stop doing this. OK, um, and that all leads to uh, the Novos Ordo Socorium, which is on the backyard of our build, the New World Order. OK, that's going to be what is going to fall uh, is going to be carried headlong. It's going to fall flat on its face. Okay, but in the fatness of the fatness of their sufficiency, okay, far as them, they're gonna get some people to 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 be deceived, okay, and that's part of the movie. But the elect, they're not gonna be deceived, okay. So, and these elite are the wicked that it speaks about in the scriptures, okay, because the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, right? So this is uh, Job. <laughs> Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked to cover the faces of the judges thereof, if not, and where and who is he? So the earth has been given to the hands of the wicked. Who are the wicked? Esau, Edom, the Idumians. Okay, the ones that are set up to have the fatness of the earth and rule with the great sword. 
okay and uh, a sign of who they are is they have their image everywhere okay what's their image uh seizure Borgier. okay the renaissance art that pale face image when that's not how our lord looks our lord would be a so-called black man of today okay but they paint it as a, as a pale fight uh, um, a pale face uh hippie okay when that's not how our lord looks okay and that's how you know if you're in rulership you're gonna have images of yourself they can't have images of, of the people you're oppressing okay so that's a sign and you don't see a uh, chinese jesus or a pal you know or iranian jesus you see that white pale face image which goes back into esau edom's um pigmentation his lack thereof that he would be what um you know that he would have a mark upon him okay he would be um he would have evidence of who he would be and these would be what these elite bankers okay and they would be pushing forth um sin okay and they would be exposed by what the prophets this is second thessalonians 2 and 7 for the mystery of iniquity do already work only who has let it will let until he be taken out of way okay so now it's being revealed of who these devils actually are okay because with the time when this was written um it wasn't revealed but now now it is and it's being uh, revealed by the servants the prophets that have the mystery second thessalonians 2 and 8 and then the wicked shall be revealed whom the lord yahavashai shall consume with the spirit of his mouth so the spirit of the lord's mouth is the holy prophets because they have the mysteries the mysterion and they have the breath they have life in them they're not walking in the congregation of the dead they are walking in the congregation of of, of the of wisdom okay of wise going into uh seers okay being able to see the vision okay and when the um uh, the vision is where there's no vision the people perish okay we see the vision clearly that our enemy uh he's uh he's clamping down because he know it that he had but a short time okay and how is he clamping down by coming with these um you know censorship you know because before this is supposed to be a so-called free speech country okay which it never was but you so-called you, you somewhat had a, a, you could say what you want but now they're clamping down because they don't want people speaking against the regime. Okay. Second Thessalonians 2 and 9. Even him, it says, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. So they're coming with signs and lying wonders. Okay. And Satan means what adversary. When you go into an adversary of what? Righteousness. Okay. And they're coming with their uh, pseudoscience. Okay. That word lying goes into the Greek pseudos which means uh the definition of broad sense of what it seems to be okay and they're telling you something that's um they're telling you something's good okay when it's actually evil okay second thessalonians 2 and 9 in the nlt this man will come to do the work of satan with counterfeit power and signs and miracles so he will be able to uh heal certain people uh with the mlt to the b okay as far as you know you take this mlt to the b Okay, you can be able to walk, you can be able to see. And we're and they're they're putting those miracles or those wonders out there, those works out there. Okay. But actually it's ultimately for your, your detriment. It's ultimately to track and control you. And if you take it, you will be um destroyed. Second Thessalonians two and ten in the NLT, he will use every kind of evil deception to fool those on your way to destruction because they refuse to love and accept the truth that would save them. And that's exactly what it is. They refuse to love because this truth is not given to everybody. Okay. This truth is not given to everybody. Only the elect's going to be able to attain the truth. Okay. And many people are going to be deceived by these different enchantments. Okay. Uh, that they're pushing far as their censorship and they're making what offender for that word. Okay. Let me just read a little bit of this. It says the leaders of nations, representatives and international organizations and philanthropists say they are committed to creating free and open societies. So whenever they say free, that's actually means that you're going to have to pay with your soul because what they're doing is they're offering you, um, you know, they're taking away your so-called security. Okay. Your rights, right. And offer, or they're taking away your privacy, which is your so-called rights. Okay, and offering you security. And that security is them having something embedded inside your hand or your forehead, that digital yoke to track and control you. Okay, control your bank account, control what you say, what you do through an ESG, uh, environmental social governance, which is, you know, basically a social credit, uh, uh, 
social credit score as far as if you say something it will go uh, if you say something good about the president it will go up if you say something bad it will go down okay your carbon footprint you know where you go what you say or wh where you go um, you have to have credits to be able to go to certain places that's why they want you in these 15 minute cities okay when they burned up Maui over there in Hawaii okay that was uh, them uh, you know with the land grab but they wanted to make that island um, a smart island okay where they wanted to start it off at okay but again they're being ex now they they did it far as with these uh these do weapons which are direct energy weapons where they were able to burn it down but now they're being exposed and even the people over there are uh, you know ready to fight okay and this is the order out of chaos that they also push okay order out of chaos in the latin problem action solution hey we you know this happened this event happened now we're here to help you and then they come in with fema and they come in with red cross which red cross when you look at the symbolism of it it has the moon okay and it has the um the cross which is the the worship of uh Tammuz and the worship of uh Semiramis, okay which is going into their idol worship and then you also have fema where they have the uh, the symbol is the eagle and that would be what the symbol of esau edom okay so going back to it it says meta so again also this word meta okay this word meta ceo mark zuckerberg says facebook has independent fact checkers is open to all perspectives and doesn't interfere in elections which they do okay and, and uh, mark zuckerberg or mark i believe his real name is mark greenberg he's actually uh you know said to be working with the cia okay um and th that the facebook was all set up okay so they can be able to spy on you you know, because you'll go back to people that you used to know and what are they doing? They're categorizing you in these different groups. OK, and if you're involved in these different uh, cardinal groups as far as carrying on weapons, then they're going to deem you as extremists because they're deeming us as extremists when our weapons of warfare are not cardinal. We're coming with the Bible. OK, the Bible is the sword that cuts these devils uh, the worst. OK, we're not supposed to be cardinal or carrying any weapons. So when you go into that word meta. Okay, it goes into uh, the forehead. Okay, Revelation 13 and 16. So they, they want to be behind you. Uh, they want to be inside of your temple. Okay, going into real quick scripture. This is, sec I was just in here. Second Thessalonians 2 and 4. Who oppose and exalt himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped so that he is God. Sent the temple of God showing himself that he is God. So your temple is your body. Okay, we're not supposed to file our body with these different idols and these different worships. We're supposed to be clean uh, in the word of Yahweh Shema Hashat. And how do they enter? Um, how are they going to enter people's temple with their philosophies? Okay, pushing, you know, constantly oppressing you, submerging you in the, uh, the wickedness. Okay, because again, darkness is all around us, but we have that light that's, that's giving us, that's, that's giving us um, uh, the truth. Okay, and they want to uh, intervene. They want to break those bands that we have the connection with the Lord. And how do they do that? With their constant enchantments, their constant uh, sorcery. And we are the temple of the Lord. When you read, and we were bought with a price. 1 Corinthians 6 and 19 in the NLT. Don't you realize that your body is the temple of thy Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by the Most High? Do you do not belong to yourself? For the Most High brought you with the high price, so you must honor Yahweh Shemah with your body. Okay, going into Romans 12 and 1, make your body a living sacrifice. And uh, Hebrews um, 6 and 10 speaks about the Lord is not unrighteous to forget your works in vain. Okay, this we're not doing this in vain. We're not doing this for, um, you know, to, 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 to get rewards, um, you know, on this side. We're stacking our treasures up in heaven. Okay, where where our Lord Yahweh Shai can be able to use those and show that we have fruit and meat for repentance, that that we're that we're proving our works through uh, the suffering that we go through, through the infirmities, through the persecution, through the being called extremists. Okay, because again, they are pushing an agenda to deem this word as offensive. Okay, and it is offensive. Okay, but it's not cardinal. OK, it's offensive because the Lord hates. OK, he actually hates a particular people, which is the so-called white man. And he's created him to be the vessel of wrath, fitted for destruction. And these other heathen nations, 
are nothing but a bucket of spittle. And the Lord has a chosen line, which are you Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, and even the ones that look like the heathen, okay, that, um, you know, think that they're, you know, a, you know, a heathen. Okay, they're actually, some of them are his, Israelites, okay, because the Lord has, um, we have mingled among the heathen, but we have followed their ways. But the elect are going to come up out of those ways, those those wicked ways, and come into this great light. Isaiah 29 and 21, because there would be, they would hear this word, okay, Isaiah, which the word is what, Yaharashach, Isaiah 29 and 21, that make a man an offender for a word, and lay a snare for him that reprove in the gate, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Okay, make a fender for that word. So the things that you say, your bank account could be frozen. Okay, you could be locked out of uh, certain um, access to certain jobs and things like that. Okay, and that's the cost of, um, you know, that's the cost of following your, your have a shot. You have to uh, lose everything, okay, to be able to gain everything. Okay, and you have to have a spiritual mindset. See, the natural man, okay, the, the, the carnal man can't, under, can't receive what the spiritual man can okay because this is a spiritual temple being built okay and you have to have vision to be able to see the kingdom okay the kingdom of heaven okay which is not here this is not our rest i was just starting the video and there's just like constant noise and it's like what six o'clock in the morning and you have you know uh you know screaming yelling uh you know <laughs> uh you know cars beeping you know just just constant noise everywhere that you go okay this is not our rest you know and then you have the vibrations of of the uh, you know of what's going on the barium aluminum in the air you drink some water you got the all these all these things that are going on okay and that's that shows you uh that this is not our rest okay you wake up your neck hurts your, your back hurts you got to go to work okay but but the number one thing is to stay focused and keep that eye singular on Yahweh Shema Shai because we're here far as um, in the truth. Okay, and and uh and this this devil is coming down with great wrath. And these are one of the signs of the end times, because the Lord would before that great before that great wrath, the Lord would wake us up. Okay. So this is Isaiah 29 and 21. Those who convict the innocent by their false testimony will disappear. A similar fate await those who use trickery to pervert justice and who tell lies to destroy the innocent. And that's exactly what they do. They use their trickery. They use their deception, okay, to be able to deceive the people, okay? And one of their trickeries is their, um, their media, which goes back to media, which goes back to their sorcery, okay, that they push on the people. Their television, they push it through... Uh, Facebook, they push it through, uh, you know, Instagram, okay, they push it through all these different, uh, um, you know, uh, platforms, okay, YouTube, you know, they push it through their platforms, okay, uh, to, again, to be able to deceive the people. Let me see, uh, I know it's in Revelation 18. Let's see. <clears throat> Revelation 18 and 23. It says, Revelation 18 and 23. And the light of the candle, okay, the light of the lamp will never shine in you again. So this is speaking about Babylon the Great, which is America today. It says, and the light, and this is going into the judgment of Babylon the Great because of its sorcery. Okay. Revelation 18 and 23. And the light of the candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For the merchants were thy great men. So you got the bridegroom and the bride. Okay, the bridegroom being Yahrashai and the bride being what? Us. Okay, the very elect. Okay, because we are married unto what Yahrashai, which married means to be joined unto. We are joined unto what Yahrashai. Okay, through what this word. Okay. Uh, and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For the merchants were of the great men of the earth by sorceries were all nations deceived and a lot of people these all these nations are deceived but also the people that are in because this is the land of darkness where there is no order okay but we have this light okay and the lord's taken away that light by exposing uh their darkness okay because they have what they are illuminated uh, uh on the what the left hand side okay but their power is being taken away so i want to get this word sorcery <laughs> 
Strong's G, 5331. Slocky. Strong's G, 5331. Pharmakaya. Pharmakaya. Okay, Pharmakaya. So, you know, pharmacy. Okay? So the use, and that's in the Greek, right? The use of administrating drugs, and that's what they do on the people. They they tell you, hey, you can, um, you know, here, smoke this, you know, smoke this weed or whatever. Okay, this could be able to help you. Meanwhile, they have uh, fentanyl. They have all sorts of uh, chemicals in that weed. Okay, uh, you know, there's no scripture that says, you you know, you can't smoke. Okay, but you shouldn't defile your body with, um, you know, far as it changes your mindset. Okay, and the apostles already said that, you know, there's no scripture that says that, but they don't do it. So if they're the examples, why, why would we do it? Okay, because it could lead you to stray. You could get... Uh, you know, DUIs just from that is all sorts of uh, wickedness. And it comes with that, that vibration of that black culture. Okay. Of, you know, and black means void of light. Okay. And that, that when people see you doing that, okay, it's not a good example for what the congregation. Okay. So the use of administrating drugs, then you have the people that are, um, you know, alcohol is also not a bad thing. You can, you're able to what drink. Okay. But the thing is, is that, um, uh, when you engage in, in being a drunkard, okay, your everyday thing is to, to get drunk, okay, that leads to all sorts of destruction where you don't have a job, you don't have a family, okay, or or it leads to what getting in trouble with the law, okay. Um, they push forth again these uh, opioids, okay, on the people, you know, uh, these oxycontins, and they say that they're you know for pain, but meanwhile they're they're administrated and they make billions of dollars, and who makes billions of dollars? Esau Edom, the elite. Okay, the same ones that are pushing for censorship. Okay, the poisoning, the poisoning of the mind. Okay, because how are they poisoning you through the Sodom and Gomorrah spirit? Okay, um, of these different enchantments. And our people, uh, you know, just trust right in Esau, Edom, and they think that everything is good. Oh, I got pain, I could take this. But meanwhile, uh, these things are setting you up. Okay, and they're poisoning you with the philosophies of the Renaissance art, uh, Jesus. Okay, for a very long time, you have people still wearing crosses, wearing unks. Okay, these are all references to uh, different idols. Okay, Deuteronomy 32 and 32. For the vine is the vine of Sodom, and Sodom goes into burning. Okay, it says in the fields of Gomorrah, yeah, they're submerged. Everything is submerged around you. Okay, when you you talk to your woman, she's a devil. Okay, your kids, they're 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 gone. Okay, it's the only people that are in the truth are being able to know this true understanding. They're the only ones that can actually understand the suffering that you're going through. Okay, meanwhile, they don't. the people in this world, they don't want to uh, get right. Okay, and this is going into a, a, the Lord chastising us. He's loving us because when you hate things in this world, that's a good thing. Okay, as long as you're not gathering up arms and tr you trust in the Lord and, and push forth this work. That's how we... Uh, defeat our enemies is by doing this work and preaching this word in truth and sincerity. Deuteronomy 32 and 32, and that's how we that's how we poison, you know, Esau Edom is by just telling them the truth. Okay, he doesn't, he doesn't like clean things. He wants everything to be uh, tarnished. Deuteronomy 32 and 32, for their vine is the vine of Sodom, and the fields of Gomorrah, their grapes are grapes of Gal, their clusters are bitter. Yeah, in America, uh, we go into the word, it goes into being bitter. Okay. So if you're calling yourself an American, then you are what? Bitter because you've been brainwashed to think that you're actually American. Okay. It says their vine, their wine, their wine, their philosophy is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of ass. Yeah, because it leads to death. And what is death? Sin. Okay. When you follow sin, you're leading into a, a, a dark hole. Okay. But when you follow the light, you're able to have vision. You're able to see. Okay, you're not able to, you're not poisoned of the philosophies of this world. Sorcery, magic arts. Yeah, because again, when you read Ephesians uh, 6 and 10, okay, on down, it speaks about the principalities, okay, and the rulers of darkness, which is Esau Edom. He's the rulers of darkness and he's pushing forth uh, censorship on the people to believe a lie, okay? And it's pushing forth uh, adultery because what is adultery? Adultery is when you're following... Uh, Idolatry. Idolatry, extreme admiration, love, or reverence for something. Yeah, so reverence to what? Wickedness. 
reverence to what evil. Okay, that's why they have um, the children. You know, you have the uh, the gay BCs. You have the, uh, the, the 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 transformers showing up to the schools and dancing. Okay, that's extreme admiration and love for what wickedness. Okay, you have uh, these different rappers pushing pushing guns, pushing. Uh, I was just talking about pushing uh, marijuana on the kids. You know, it's it, it's it's for your oppression. Okay, when you use it the correct way, like this the CBD way, or you know, because you actually have an injury, that's okay. But when you're using it to uh, get up out of this get up out of this world, you know, you think that that's going to be able to help you to get up out of this world. It's really not. The only thing that can help you get out of this world is Yahab Bashar Shot. And people are following these different idols, okay, following, you know, making uh, these celebrities idols, you know, following black culture, okay? When you say the word black and anything after that has a negative connotation, black plague, black death, black culture in itself is death, okay? And, and black means void of light. And that's even a, a false social construct that Esau Eden put out, calling himself white, which is purity. And the only thing that is pure about him is his wickedness, okay? We would actually be the light. We are the light of the Lord, but we have to be with him. We can't follow uh, these different idols and follow Esau Edom in the path of destruction because misery loves company. Okay. Metaphor, the deceptions. Okay. And this is the point I want to get. The deceptions. They're coming with great deception. The act, the action of deceiving someone. Yeah. So when you read Revelation 20 and about seven, it says they were given power to be able to deceive the nations. Okay. And to deceive the people. The multitudes of people and that's what you see today but they're not going to deceive the very elect okay and what deceives you their money okay their iniquity their sin because it's easy to be a nigga it's easy to be uh, uh you know to follow the ways of esau edom because you can do whatever you want it's that do is that will spirit but it's it's a, a straight path to follow what you have a shot okay yeah so witchcraft literally witchcraft Okay, and you, that's what you have coming out of what hollow wood, which is what Hollywood, okay, hollow wood, which goes back to, um, you know, the stick that they would use to be able to push forth their sorcery, but also to uh, the Druids, which were the Romans, okay, which goes back to a, a people, which are the biblical Edomites, which are the wicked, the ones that are in control, okay, the ones that their candle is going to be put out, okay, the ones that will be pushing forth what the censorship right here, okay. So when they're pushing forth meta, which means, which goes back to the word, uh, English word forehead, okay, they want to be behind you inside of your temple, okay? It says, Mark Zuckerberg says, Facebook has independent fact checkers, it's open to all perspectives. Yeah, but it's not. If you were open to all perspectives, why do you have fact checkers? See, again, this devil is only set up to lie. He's a stranger from the womb telling you a lie, okay? When he tells you something, believe him not. <laughs> right there, he just told you a lie. We're open to open perspectives, but then we're trying to look for people to stop. Right there is a lie. Okay, Proverbs 26 and 25. When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. So there is a, the word seven goes to, uh, there, uh, complete. Okay, there's a complete number of abominations in his heart. He, he's, he's got it all for his wickedness. Okay, and his mind, and his lahab. Okay, and he has also, he's very crafty. Okay, whose hatred is covered by the seat. Yeah, whose hatred is covered by the seat. Because anybody that's happy far as following the Lord, because that's the only way you're truly happy is following the Lord. Okay, he hates that and he wants to what deceive you by offering you money. Okay, by uh you know offering you uh, the world, just like he did with our Lord Yahweh Shai. I believe that's uh, Luke four. Okay, uh let me let me just get it. Luke, because that's what's gonna happen in this time. Yeah, yeah. So this is the point I want to get right here. This is Luke 4 and 5. And the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed unto him all kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. So, again, the deceiver is what Esau eat him. Okay. Uh, the devil means deceiver. Okay. And what is he doing? He's giving you deception. Hey, I'll give you this. And this is what's going to happen in this time. Here, I give you food. I give you water if you just follow me. Okay, but who's in control of the devil? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And he sent forth his son, Yahweh Shai, to be in control. But at this time, Yahweh Shai was being tempted by the devil. He was fasting uh, 40 days and 40 nights. And that's very 
uh, you know, a time to be tempted. It's just like we're going to be tempted in the time of Jacob's trouble and even right now, okay, by the, by the, uh, you know, by the, uh, the trickery of the devil, okay, Luke 4 and 5. And the devil taking him up to a high mountain showed unto him the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil, and it said unto him, all power was given to thee and glory of them, for this is delivered unto me and to whomever I will give it. Okay, and this is speaking about again to deceive the, the deceivers. If thou therefore will worship me, all that shall be thine. So even our Lord Yahavashai was what tempted with what the devil. Okay, Luke four and eight. And this is what Yahavashai said. And Yahavashai answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, What is Satan mean? Adversary of righteousness. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord, thy power. And him thou shalt serve. So we're supposed to serve Yahweh Shai. We're not supposed to serve no devil because he's because he's not in control of anything. Okay, when you read uh, Job one or Job two, it speaks about uh, you know basically this conversation of um, uh, how Job was being tested. Okay, and they asked where saying where have you been to and fro on the earth. Okay, so again this is a man uh, that that what is deceiving. Okay, and, and Esau Edom is this uh, physical counterpart of the spiritual demon of Satan, but the spiritual demon of Satan is co controlled by Yahweh Shema Shai. Okay, let me read this again. In the, let me read this NLT. Yahweh Shai replied, The scriptures say, You must worship Yahweh Shema Shai, that power, and serve only him. Okay, so again, the scriptures say, Thus said the Lord, okay, you must worship Yahweh Shema Shai, your power, and serve only him. We're not supposed to be serving, uh, uh, you know, um many different gods okay like they have because that's what people will say they'll say there's many different gods and there's not okay there's only one okay but the lord has put out these uh, uh different uh idols for pe for for traps and snares okay ephesians 4 and four, there is one body and one spirit, even as you called in one hope of one calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one uh, power and father of all who is above all and through through all and all. OK, so there's only one power. There's only one baptism. There's only one word. The rest are what um, deception. OK, and the Lord, you shy what rules in the kingdom, of, in the basis of men. OK, because he has been given all power. OK. Um, and he's given what the understanding to Jacob Psalms 46 and 7 the Lord Yahweh of hosts of armies is with us and the Most High of Jacob is our refuge Salah so that is our fortress okay but we have to know who we are we have to know our identity that's why for so long Esau Edom has uh, painted us as you know um, black as Latino as Native American because he's trying to hide our identity but now and it also speaks about numbers 23 that we wouldn't be reckoned okay we wouldn't be recognized as the people of the Bible okay but now the Lord is trying to glorious light of truth and understanding okay that we can be able to walk in that great light okay and this devil is trying to what uh, uh, frustrate the temple being built okay <laughs> So it says, has independent fact checkers, is open to all perspectives, and doesn't interfere in elections in response to questions from a colleague at public representative from George Soros, Open Society Foundation assisted the philanthropy supported free speech. In response to your effort, the conflict, and any attempt to address hate speech as frontal assault on free speech itself, the Soros spokesman, um, okay, so this is the point I want to get. Because it's speaking about it's speaking about race and things like that that they want to actually stop. So this was a letter written by the United States Strategy and Plan of Action of Hate Speech. Okay, so this is uh, I think it's in the second. Yeah, when you read the second one. Okay, what is uh, hate speech? Yeah, right here. So it's right in the blue. So I want to touch on this topic right here. It says any kind of communication and speech, writing or behavior, okay, that attacks and uses prerogative 
or discriminatory language with reference to a person or a group. Slakia. Reference or a group on the basis who they are, in other words, based on their religion, ethnicity, nationality, race, color, descendant, uh, descent, gender, or identity factor. Okay, so that's the point of uh, of the whole thing of pushing forth hate speech is to control, um, you know, the the prophets from uh, saying what they're saying because the Lord only loves one. Okay, He doesn't love a bunch of different nations. And just to cut that real quick, okay, the Lord doesn't love everyone. There's actually um, a people that He hates. And I'll just go right to that first, actually. And let me get the one of Deuteronomy thirty-two. Deuteronomy 32 and 7. So the Lord's actually racist. These are people that he actually loves. Okay? And there's people that he hates. Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Why? Because the Lord's uh, portion is Israel. For the Lord's, Yahweh Mashai's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So Jacob is the lot, the special possession. Okay, not these other either nations, because why would the Lord, uh, uh, if he had if he had love for everybody, why did he separate them? Because he had, because for the Lord Yahweh Shemajah's portion is his people, and Jacob is the lot of his inheritance, and the Lord would not give it to another. Okay, he's not giving it to another. He's not saying everybody can be able to be saved. Okay, or everybody is his people. What's Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word. Who is the word? Yahweh Shai. Unto Jacob his statutes and judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any other nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praising the Lord Yahweh Shai. So the Lord has not dealt with any other nation. So those two scriptures tell you that the Lord has a, a, a particular people. Okay. And it's not Esau, Edom. It's not you Moabites. It's not you, uh, uh, you Iranians. Psalms 148 and 13. Let them praise the name of Yahabah Shema Shai. Is it the name dreadful among the heathen? Let them praise the name of Yahabah Shema Shai, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above earth and heaven. He also exhort his horn. So horn goes into power of his people. Isn't that possessive? Okay, his people. So showing you that he has his, his own people. His people, the praise of all the saints. Who are the saints? The Hebrew Israelites. Okay, even of the children, so even of the sons of Israel, a people near unto him, praise you the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai. So a people near unto him. And the Lord didn't choose us because we were many in number. The Lord chose us right here, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people, separate unto Yahweh Shema Shai. Thy power, Yahweh, had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord Yahweh did not set his love upon you. So you have people who, that that slogan, uh, everybody's equal. They're not. Everybody's not equal. Okay. The, the Hebrew Israelites are above, but we were set at a low estate because we were falling after false gods and false idols. Draw me seven and seven. The Lord Yahweh Shema Shai did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in number in any people for you were the fewest of all people. But because Yahweh Shema Shai loved you, that's why we had the law, statute, and commandments. Loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto thy fathers, uh, Exodus three and fourteen. Okay, the the uh, the covenant that he made with Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Okay, that he would have an everlasting covenant, meaning that uh, which is a contract that uh, they would have immortality. Okay, would keep that oath again, going into the chosen line. Okay, would keep the oath which he had sworn unto thy fathers. Had Yahweh Shemashai brought you. With a mighty hand, it redeemed you out of the house of bondage of men from the hand of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. So who was saved out of Egypt? Okay, the children of Israel. Okay, from Pharaoh, that was a wicked king. Okay, and what was he doing? He was oppressing uh, the children of Israel. He would not let them go. He would not listen to Moses and Aaron. Okay, which are what the prophets. Okay, just like in this time, they're not listening to the prophets where we're, we're telling them, let our people go, or otherwise our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to seek vengeance on you. Okay, and in that time of, of ancient Egypt, all Israel was saved. And this time, it's only the one third is going to be saved, only the elect, while two thirds got to die a grievous death. That's why it's very important to uh, seek the Lord while he may be found. Okay, and when you go to Romans uh, 9. 
and 11. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to his election, okay, what the Most High's elect, when you go into that word election, right, might stand not of works, but of him that calleth. So not of our works. It's not because we were the uh, we we're the smartest, you know, we're just, we're, we're so fly. Okay, it's because Yahweh Shema Shai has predestined us to get this understanding, according to calleth. Romans 9 and 12, it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. So when Rachel was conceiving, okay, or had the babies, right? Uh, Jacob and Esau, Jacob was what? Righteous, okay, was given the promise. And Esau was given what? Um, the, the fatness of the earth and a great sword. But it would be for what? A short period of time. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. Okay, so who is the elder? Uh, Esau, Edom. Okay, and what uh, Jacob, when you go into that word, Yaqua, which means surplanter. Jacob had what surplanted Esau Edom, okay, because of what, uh, again, Esau Edom's lack of patience, okay, it's, and it ultimately was set up um, already like that, but okay, but our Lord is, is uh, loves, you know, he's the director, okay, it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger, so the elder is what, uh, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, shall serve the younger, who's the younger, Jacob, Okay, his name was shamed to Israel. He had 12 sons, so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans. 13, this is the point. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So Jacob, he loved, which would be so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans. Esau, which would be the, the so-called white men of today, have I hated. So the Lord rejected Esau. He's profane. He is outside the temple. Okay, he is not. He is our brother, but he is the wicked one. Okay. Hebrews 12 and 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one more so of meat sold his birthright. Yeah, so that's what I was speaking about. Okay, go back in uh, Genesis uh, 25 and 27, speaks about the, you know, as far as um, the, the, uh, the lineage of Esau and also uh, the lineage of Jacob, okay, and the blessings that they were given. So it's Hebrews 12 and 17. It says, for you know how that afterward when you would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So he was rejected. Okay, so the Lord has a people that he hates. Okay, and even in these different nations, uh, the Lord sees them as a bucket of spittle. When you go to Second Ezra 6 and 54, it gives a more, uh, you know, it gives the, the same thing that I read in Deuteronomy 32. Okay, as far as Adam splitting, this is Isaiah 40 and 15. Isaiah 40 and 15, behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, are counted as small dust of the balance. Behold, taken up the isles as very little thing. Okay, picks up the whole earth as though it were a grain of sand. Yeah, not important. Okay, when you think about a, 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 a drop of water, okay, fall, you know, a five gallon, five gallon uh, bottle of water. Okay, you drop a little bit of water. You're not like, oh, where's that? Where's that water? You're not worried about that. And that's how the Lord sees these other heathen nations. Isaiah 40 and 17, all nations before him are as nothing and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. Yes, yeah, so they are worthless. Okay, they are used as what um, side characters in the movie. Okay, because the two main characters, the protagonist is what Jacob, okay, and the antagonist is what Esau Edom. Okay, and these other heathen nations are nothing but uh, extras. Okay, Romans 9 and 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So what is uh, they trying to do with the censorship by saying you can't say uh, stuff about people's, um, you know, race. OK, but why are they doing that? Because they don't want you finding out who you are, because, again, we've been scattered among the, uh, the heathen. OK, and with this word, it's going to gather them out. Uh, Romans 9 and 14, what shall we say then? Is there an unrighteous with the Most High? And power forbid, for he hath to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion on whom I have, have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but the Most High that showeth mercy. Okay, for the scripture said unto Pharaoh, okay, and for this same purpose, I have raised thee up. So Pharaoh was raised up, right? That I might show my power in thee, that he might, that he might, Saki, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So that's how uh, Habershai's name was glorified through, uh, you know, um, you know, the Pharaoh's army being destroyed. Okay, the great, the great uh, water, you know, going through the Seattle Canal, 
and the Israelites were able to go through. And then also with the 10 plagues, okay, and that's a reference, uh, this is referencing what Pharaoh to what modern day Esau Edom. Therefore, had he mercy on him who he have mercy on and whom he will harden. Okay, and the Lord is what hardening, uh, just like he hardened Pharaoh's heart, okay, to not let the Israelites go. And this time Esau Edom's heart is being hardened, he won't let the, uh, the let go. Okay, therefore he had mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will harden. That will say unto me, why doeth he yet find fault for who have resisted his will? Yes, yeah, so no one can resist his will. If you were set up to be the wicked, you're going to be the wicked. If you were set up to be the righteous, you're going to be, do righteous things. Okay, Romans 9 and 20. Now, nah, but only men are thou repliest against the Messiah. Shall the thing formed it say to him formed it? Why hast thou made me thus? Hath not the potter power over the clay? And who's the potter? Yahweh, uh, the heavenly father, Yahweh. Okay, he created you. Do his son what Yahweh shot over the clay and of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor. So one vessel to honor, okay, Jacob, okay, and another unto dishonor. So Esau eat him. He's, he's set up to dishonor, okay. Romans 9 and 21. When a potter in the NLT, when he make it says, when a potter makes jars out of clay, doesn't he make right to use the same lump of clay to make one jar for decoration and another to throw garbage into? And that's what he does with Esau Edom. He just throws, <laughs> throws garbage into him, okay? And then he, he runs off that while he's while the Lord's throwing us pure water, okay? Which is the truth. Romans 9 and 22. What if the Most High, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction? And that's who Esau Edom. He's a vessel of wrath fitted for destruction. And that he might make known the riches of glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto that glory. So the vessels of mercy. And who is that? That's uh, the very elect. Those are the vessels of mercy. Because even uh, the whole nation is not going to get saved. Okay? In this time. Now, they will come back in the bowels of the elect in the kingdom. Okay? But it's 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 all about the vessels of mercy, which are our Lord, what uh, are the elect. Okay? And so, so I just want to touch on that, you know, that particular part on the, you know, they're speaking about the race and the religion, okay, because this word is what offensive to them, okay, ethnicity, nationality, race, gender, okay, this all goes into our heritage. They don't want us to be uh, part of our heritage because this offends them, okay, this exposes who they are. This is a dreadful sound in the ear, the new song being sung. It says, uh, a dreadful sound, 21, a dreadful sound in his ears are prosperity. The destroyer shall come upon him. So that's our Lord Yahweh Shai. He's coming upon them with the with the words of the holy prophets. Okay, and it's destroying their kingdom. And with that, they're making what a fender for that word. This is Psalms 109 and 2. It says, for that mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the sea for are open against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. And that's what they're speaking with, a lying tongue. Okay, calling something... Um, good that's actually evil and evil good or, or yeah let me let me get the scripture <clears throat> this is isaiah 5 and 20 woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put bitterness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter okay in america you go into the word it means bitter okay and this place is bitter why because we're under our oppressor but all um mouths shall be condemned that come against the lord Okay, Isaiah, and I ended right here. Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue, so every every slanderous tongue, that shall rise against thee in the judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahabah Shema Shai, and their righteousness is of me, said Yahabah Shema Shai. So with that, Kahala Yahabah Shem Yahabah Shai, Shalom to the elect. Kwan Yahabah